Hey guys, it's Mama One here again. I am here with build number 22. It is called Flats. And this is what it looks like. I did get this off of somebody else's idea. I could not find the video for it. I tried. If I can find it, I promise I will add it to um, the description, a link in the description. If you know whose it is or you have it, please feel free to send it to me and I will be happy to put it on my um, in my description so that everybody can see who it came from because I don't want to take credit for something that I didn't do. Um, this is a very easy build and I did enjoy doing it. So we'll just get right into it then. Um, I started with, and I think I tweaked it a little bit here and there, but not by much. Um, I started with an aluminum post, which goes up by itself. Um, and then if you go, ooh, let's go this way. The aluminum post will go, ooh, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the 10th one over, you're going to do another aluminum post from the right or i'm sorry the left aluminum post is one two three four five on the sixth one you're going to do cyan terracotta and that is going to be one two three four five high and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay i miscounted give me a second eleven across and then one, two, three, on the fourth one over, actually no, on the third one over, you're gonna do a corner stair, a regular stair, and then a corner stair. Where the middle stair is, you're gonna have a two block opening for your doorway. The whole floor is also gonna be cyan terracotta. Just for future reference, you'll need to know that in a minute. So you lay down this wall, you get to the corner, and you're gonna have a total of nine cyan terracotta over, and you're gonna continue the height the same as you did for this wall all the way around, and you're gonna go over one, three up, you're gonna have a two high block for the window that way. Whatever you did on this wall, you're gonna go over and you're gonna do on this wall. And then you're gonna match this corner to that corner. Just take the cyan terracotta all the way down. Oops, sorry, all the way down. So, here's your front door, your front wall, your right wall, and then your back wall. So on your back wall, from the right fourth one over you're gonna have a hole for your door just like you did on that side on the front door over there same thing with the stairs so if we go back to the front we're gonna do the pink terracotta section so directly above your left corner so your front door is there here's your left corner Directly above that corner, you're gonna do your pink terracotta and go one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. On the sixth one, you're gonna do one more down here on top of this pillar. You're gonna continue your pink terracotta over and come and don't match it up with this wall. You're gonna come in by one. And you're gonna do your wall to match with this corner over here that you did right here. So this corner, you're gonna bring it back to here. And you're gonna do your window the same way you did your window with the cyan. The dimensions are all going to be the same for each floor that you do. It's just going to be in a different color. And you're going to connect it. One, two, three, four. So on every fourth one is where your wall is going to be, whether it be on the right or on the left. You're going to have four overlapping blocks. 
So the dimensions for this cyan is going to be the same dimension for your green. The dimensions for your pink is going to be the same dimensions for your red. What you did with the green down here, you're going to do with your cyan. What you did with the red, you're going to do with the green. You're going to do your pillars the same on all sides or both sides. And your doors are going to be the same on every level. As far as coming in from the one side, so your door is going to be the same. You're only going to have doors on one side because if you have a door on this side, you're going to come out to the patio. But if you have a door on this side, you're going to fall out and you don't want that. So your dimensions are the same for all of it. And then on the very, very top one, one above the window here. You're going to close it in with the lime terracotta for the ceiling. So each room is going to have the color of the outside is also going to be the same block as inside on the floor and inside on the ceiling. So on the four that overlap on each floor, it's going to be two blocks. So this is the floor for this one, and this is the ceiling for this one. I hope that makes sense. So on the top lime terracotta, which is also your ceiling, I did inverted quartz stairs with a block on the end. I took it out to the corner where your pillar is, and I did two blocks but I continued the inverted stairs over. And then I did the same thing on this corner all the way to this front corner here again. Woo -hoo -hoo, sorry. And then I jetted in one more and I did quartz stairs all the way around. I jetted in just one more and I did a quartz slab. Now underneath here, on the top floor. I came in one and I did a slab leaving space for one before my inverted stair. And I carried that out to here with coming in by one. So that's the exterior of it. So as long as you have, and it doesn't have to be the exact same dimension. So whatever dimension you have on the right rooms, the right bottom room, you're going to do those exact same dimensions on every room that juts out on the right. Same thing with the rooms on the left. Whatever you do on this bottom left room, you're going to do on all the rooms going up. So that should make it a little bit easier. You don't have to have the exact same dimensions. You can make it bigger or smaller or whatever. <clears throat> Now on the front, you see that they overlap. See how that is overlapping there? But on this other side, it's all flush. So if you wanna have it flush on both sides, go ahead and have it flush on both sides. That's totally up to you. So if we come back down here, this is on your first floor, we'll do the inside real quick. There is absolutely nothing special about the inside except the decorations and the elevators. So you have window is going to go from wall to wall on both left and right side. As soon as you come in your floor, your walls and your ceiling are all the same. I did my elevator and then you can put your elevator wherever you want, but I did my elevator on the, you have your door and then one and two is where I did my elevator. So that way it's where it all overlaps because you'll see when I come back up, the door should be right here and there it is. So if you're still looking this way, you go up again. Oh, look, here's the other room, two in, 
there's your door. You look back, oh, there's the room. So it's the only place that I could put the um, elevator to be able to get up to the other floors straight up. So anyway, I just put, you know, oak armor stands here. In the pink room, I did my enchantments. My green room is my tinker. My red is um, my cauldron and um, things like that. Cyan, the second cyan room is my trophy room. The lime room is my bedroom. And the top, top, top room is trophy and trash, apparently, and another bedroom. This one is a very short room. If you want, because this is the ceiling, this is the roof, the attic, per se. It's the attic, let's call it that. Um, so, you know, use it for storage, use it for whatever, make it taller if you want. Um, it wouldn't be too difficult to make it taller. You can add another room up here, or you don't even have to have this up here at all. You can just finish it off with um, the green terracotta and call it a day and be done. Um, make it your own. It uh, doesn't have to be exactly like I have it or exactly like whoever initially built it. I promise if I can find it, I will post it. Um, if it's yours, please tell me. I want to post it in the comment section because, or in the um, description because I don't want to take credit for this. But it is a very easy build. Um, and then I just added farmland with worms because once you add your crops, the worms will help it grow a lot faster. And then up here I did um, a little fenced in grassy area for my animals. Now I don't like using gates. I like, I think gates look better, but I use the carpet because you can just jump on the carpet and jump out and the animals can't get out. But um, the reason I did my pen the way I did um, with the one level below is because if you put this white fence on the same level as where the animals are, the animals can jump those fences. I did not know that and I was getting very frustrated. So this is the only way that I could do it and still be able to use these fences. If you use the regular vanilla like oak fences or something like that, they won't jump over it. But I don't know why, but for some reason in Project Ozone 3, they do jump over the fence. Um, but anyway, that's why I use the carpet versus a gate. Um, then I don't have to worry about mobs getting in or animals getting out when I leave. But this is the basic build, that's it. There's nothing else to it. Um, like I said, whatever you do on your right room, do the same on all the right rooms. Whatever you do on your left rooms, do the same on the left all the way up. If you do use this and you do something a little different, um, please do let me know. Let me know what you've done. Show me if you have a link, please. I'll be happy to share it for you. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a lot of subscribers right now. I think I have like one. Um, and no, it is not my son, but uh, um, anyway, I'm happy to share your what you've done. Um, I don't have a problem with it at all. I say share and share alike. It's all good to me. So anyway, if you like the video, please do leave a like, subscribe if you don't mind. I will have more videos coming up um, once I get them uploaded. I promise I'm working on it slowly but surely. Leave your comments, questions, suggestions. Constructive criticism is always appreciated. Just don't be a meanie about it. And I will be happy to listen and uh, go from there. So I will see you guys next time with my next build. Thanks, guys. Bye.